So in my last video, I spoke about building a custom MIDI to OSC device in Max for Live so you can control events and effects inside of Unreal Engine in real time. Now it's time to talk about how to parse that OSC data in Unreal Engine so you can start building custom events and effects as controlled by your MIDI data and musical instruments. Continuing off of the work as established by the SEM and Tris AV Club, as well as their own respective YouTube channels, we're going to take the router and blueprint templates as supplied by them and add additional channels to it so you can incorporate the newly added functionality of velocity, duration, time between notes, number of notes being triggered, a random number generator, and counter. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. To start, you can now freely obtain Sem and Triss's original Unreal Engine Blueprint templates from their Discord server. Links to that will be in the description below, along with the completed modded versions we'll be making today. Thank you to Sem and Triss for allowing me to build off of their original hard work, as none of this would be possible if it wasn't for them. The idea here is to make the basic protocol for this modded version free and open source, so my version will be on GitHub as well as in a Google Drive link, both of which will also be found in the description of this video. Once you have the Unreal Engine router and blueprint templates downloaded, open up the router and begin by adding new event dispatchers for each of the newly created variables that correspond with the Max for Live device. With this particular iteration, that means we'll be adding on velocity, on duration, on time between notes, on number of notes, on random number, and on counter events. Each one of these events needs additional inputs added, so on the right side of the screen under the input tab, add two inputs for each of the newly created events. The first input will always be track address, with the second input corresponding to what the event is. For instance, the velocity channel will have a track address input and a velocity input. Set the track address to an integer and the velocity to float. With the exception of the velocity and random number events, everything should be set to integer inputs with the other two variables I just mentioned as floats. With the new event dispatchers created, we can now move on to creating functions for each of the new events. Now, since everything will follow the same order of operation as found in the send MIDI function, go into that and copy that example. Then, create a new function and label it send velocity. Copy the send MIDI function nodes into the send velocity function, then rename the variable in the equals node to velocity. Then swap out the final call on MIDI node with a call on velocity node. This should conclude setting up the velocity channel, so repeat this exact process for every other newly created event dispatcher, and you should be good to go when it comes to creating the new functions. For the final step in setting up the router, hop over to the event graph and go to the section labeled Call Event Dispatchers for Track ID, MIDI Notes, Envelopes, and Macros. This is where we'll add our newly created functions. Type in Send Velocity and add an input labeled Array. Add this new node to the end of the chain and plug in the corresponding inputs. Repeat this process for every newly created function and that should conclude updating the router. If you happen to add any new variables to the Max for Live device, this will be the process needed to update the router and blueprint for any future variables. Hop on over to the blueprint template and click on OSC Router Ref in the Variables tab on the left side of the screen. From here, you should see a tab on the right side of the screen labeled Events. Go over here and click on the plus button for each of the six new events we just created. This will add the new events to the blueprint alongside the original MIDI, macro, and envelope examples. Copy the node setup as seen in the red MIDI example and swap out the custom event object for each of the new events we just added to the blueprint. From here, label things accordingly with the comment box, and then everything should be good to go when it comes to updating the blueprint template. Everything from this point on comes down to how you choose to creatively implement these new strings of data as provided by the Max for Live device. For instance, here's how I use the velocity channel to control the emission intensity in my previously created lights blueprint. This is very exciting to me personally, 
as it adds a whole new dimension of articulation that couldn't be previously achieved with static MIDI trigger values. With all of that being said, this more or less concludes how I set up the router and blueprint template for Unreal Engine, using the previously created Max for Live device. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve the blueprints and Max for Live device, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all my future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.